Welcome. Now in this module, we'll talk about standards and we're talking about overall about the security documentation. Now policies, standards, procedures, and guidelines all have a place in the documentation structure of an organization. Let's have another look at the diagram. So this is a very nice diagram showing exactly what policies, standards, procedures, and guidelines are and a short description of them. So we saw that in the last module that policies are rules or a constitution related to key issues, to key issues, and they describe what needs to be done and a little bit, bit about why it needs to be done or the importance of why it needs to be done. Now standards have a very important place in the documentation in security, and they are more of a measurement, and they tell us how much or how frequently an activity needs to be done. Let's have a look at further details. Standards are mandatory actions or rules. Mandatory mean that they are very much required and they are not optional. So they are, um, they are extremely important rules or they are such rules which are set in, with consensus of the team and then those activities have to be done. So these are mandatory actions or rules that give formal policies support and direction. So they add more detail and specifics to the policies. One of the more difficult parts of writing standards for an information security program is getting a company-wide consensus on what standards need to be in place. For example, if the logs need to be reviewed by the organization, then the logs need to be reviewed, for example, on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. And that's the standard. And uh, if there is another activity that needs to be done, for example, an email signature, as we'll see. So standards, uh, uh, this can be a time-consuming process to reach a consensus, but it is vital to the success of your information security program. Standards are used to indicate expected user behavior. For example, a consistent company email signature or consistent marketing logos used for the company. Standards might specify what hardware and software solutions are available and supported. And lastly, standards are compulsory and must be enforced to be effective. This also applies to policies, by the way. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.